Georgia's coast, 100 miles of beaches, salt marshes, and maritime forests are home to an incredible diversity of plant and animal life. For more than 40 years, Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant has worked with people on the coast, helping them understand the environment and how to live and work responsibly in it. The Sea Grant Network was created back in 1966. We act as a bridge between the communities and the university system. The Georgia Sea Grant and Marine Extension has been very key in helping with development of fisheries. We've had this lab here since the 1980s, so we've been involved in shellfish research predominantly clam aquaculture at the beginning and then a lot of oyster work over the years. Over you know these 30, 40 years, the biggest thing has, has been the development of trust. The fact that we are actually in the community working side by side with our fishermen really makes us unique because we're not in here one day and gone the next, we're still here. After years of building trusting relationships with the community, Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant specialists are helping people on the coast adapt and respond to a changing environment. So microplastics are pieces of plastic that have a length or largest diameter no larger than five millimeters. We started a project to really look at abundance and distribution of microplastics so that we can have a better picture of what's going on along the coast of Georgia. Blackgill is a condition that we see in, in shrimp. The decline that we've seen since about 2000 has been due to this parasite that causes blackgill. It was the number one call from stakeholders that Sea Grant was getting. What are you going to do about blackgill? We've developed a smartphone application that allows anybody to report. We have a much better uh, view of what, uh, what's going on with black gill in our whole state. Three of the top five highest water levels have occurred in the last three years. These flood events are increasing and it is important that Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant assist local communities in becoming more resilient and safer. I worked with the city of Tybee Island to create the first sea level rise plan in the state of Georgia. After that, I worked with the city of St. Mary's to create their own flood resiliency plan. Our projects tend to have those immediate impacts that affect citizens in coastal Georgia. What I'm most excited about is probably our efforts related to aquaculture because people will be able to derive their livelihoods off of that and that will, will lead to more people living in coastal Georgia. For generations, Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant has bridged the gap between research and communities. Now they educate for the future. Marine Education Fellowship is a 50-week opportunity for college graduates. They are getting on-the-job training of how to teach marine science concepts, coastal ecology concepts, to students of all ages. The Canals Fellowship places highly qualified graduate students in one-year fellowship positions in the Washington, D.C. area. It was a bridge for me from graduate school to the job I have now. Through a long-standing commitment to research, extension, and education, Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant plays a key role in improving Georgia's coastal communities. Georgia Sea Grant and Marine Extension are a really vital cog in the scientific and educational communities in this state. Any individual, any community can come to us for technical and scientific information to inform their choices. Our role is to really connect with the public to educate them, to make them more aware of the environment, the coastal environment, and more importantly, why is it that they should care about that natural environment? When you care about a place, care about an area, care about an issue, then you work harder to be a part of solutions, you work harder to be part of conservation efforts, and you become true stewards of the coastal area. 